It's so typical, it never fails. Whenever we have an out of town build, we always seem to get some rain. Fortunately, yesterday we were able to get the liners in, and uh, you know what? We work in any conditions because we have three days to get this rain or shine. I got some raincoats. I'm wearing a raincoat, but I don't think many of these guys want a raincoat. how many people know this but I'm really good at this job <laughs> I don't know what time it is I feel like it's probably 9 30 ish and I would say more than half the pond is dropped in the biggest challenge we have is Bernie can't keep up with us unloading the trucks as fast as we're setting the boulders which is a good problem to have right and it's raining but that's not a problem yes <laughs> Continue to make progress today despite the nasty conditions. It rained all night long, continues to rain throughout the day, but we gotta get the project done. So what we're doing is we're struggling through everything, but we're making incredible progress. So thankfully yesterday we did all of our seaming. We got all that infrastructure done, the intake bay. We dug out the wetland filter. So these are all critical components that we cannot modify these things because that's gonna give us the desired water quality and deliver everything that we're looking for for Shaq's Pond here. So what we're doing, focusing down on the pond, as soon as we get that completely rocked in, our gravel just arrived. We're starting to layer in the river rock down to the bottom. We also yesterday filled up those big blue tubs back there. We have thousands and thousands of gallons of water in waiting. We can come in with a high volume pump. We can flush everything because right now it's a muddy mess down in the bottom of that. So we have a team down below getting that done. The intake bay is going to start getting wrapped up. We're going to focus on the wetlands. We're going to wait on the next layer of gravel coming in. And then we're going to start marching up that hillside working on waterfalls. This is how almost the majority of our builds go. I mean, look at the rain. So, I'm pretty sure I could probably wet my pants right now and nobody would even know. I'm actually doing it right now. You just can't see the steam coming up through my loins. But I just peed my pants. All kidding aside though, like we're flying uh, through this pond. Our biggest challenge now are the elements, right? I think we've had a couple wheelbarrows dumped because it's so sloppy in this red clay after it gets moist. But we are muscling through it the way we always do. And up, oh, see it? Right there, see it? I told you. There's always one in every crowd. In this case, it's about four or five today. Signature waterfall, and this is going to be the one. A bunch of massive stones, 
framing out either side yeah. of it. We're gonna have a big cascade of water falling right down in between it. Then from there, it's gonna work its way down the hillside, making its way back over to the pond. So what we're gonna do right now, get this rock set, get ready for that spillstone in between. All right, guys, so it's probably, I don't even know, two o'clock in the afternoon right now. I would say on schedule-ish, um, but there's a lot of technical things that we've been working on, which are somewhat time consuming. The main thing that I'm talking about is that fire pit and the walls that I'm standing in front of. All that brickwork is super intricate because we tie it into all these huge natural boulders that we have in the pond, which creates a super awesome look, but obviously it's very time consuming cutting each piece to fit around that rock. Even though this is a lot of work, it is gonna to be totally worth it in the end because the effect that it creates is you can literally stand on the edge of that pond and look straight down to the bottom. It's a great place to feed fish. It's a great place for kids to kind of hang their legs over in the pond. And the fire pit is actually probably the coolest part of all this brickwork that we're doing because it's actually half in the pond and half out of the pond. So you are literally gonna be able to sit around half of that fire pit and the other half is already in the water. kind of on the intake bay over here, which is the uh, alternative really for a skimmer box. Instead of using a skimmer box where you have to clean out a basket all the time, all the wind-blown debris gets pulled into this area. You can see that the gravel is a lot lower than the top of the rocks. It's actually done intentionally, so you can come in here with a net and comfortably scoop out the leaves that kind of circulate in that area. What causes all the leaves to come in here, though, are the four pumps that are gonna go inside of our two pump vaults. So when all three of these nine PLs are going up to the top, will be someplace around 15,000 gallons of water per hour, which will be still a pretty epic waterfall coming down through here. We saved one more 9PL to feed jets throughout the entire pot. The best part about right now, besides working with you, is it stopped raining for about five seconds, yes. right? <laughs> you just curse. Yeah. It's common. Wish it weren't raining. Pondfather water features with all the aquatic plants. I see you got the right apparel to help oh, yeah. uh, finish the job. <laughs> Wetland waterfall is done, that's a huge milestone for us. So now what we did, we shifted gears, we jumped upstream, we took care of all the excavation, we had to reroute some of the plumbing to get underneath everything, and now we're getting ready to set that stack slate sphere. This yeah. is gonna be that signature piece that's really gonna set this project apart. The other thing that we have is this beautiful piece of driftwood over here. Really cool piece of gnarly cedar. It's gonna work perfectly. We're gonna kinda cut it and carve it into that stack slate sphere. Then on the top back edge, we're gonna drop in a few of the smaller ones. So it's really gonna kinda create this really really neat effect and it's going to help tie the home down to the water feature, draw everybody's eyes into it, then it's going to twist and turn its way over that big waterfall that we set earlier today and then it's going to make its way all the way down to the bottom of that pond. Like me on the job 
So it is uh, 10 o'clock at night. These guys have been going at it since 8 o'clock this morning. And you know, it actually makes sense because they work the entire day in the rain. And so there's a 50% chance of rain tomorrow. So instead of risking it, we've got dry conditions. Let's go ahead and muscle through it. So who knows when we're going to get out of here. As long as it's not raining, we might just keep working the whole night.